This is the H2CO Lewis structure. We have a total of 12 valence electrons for this H2CO Lewis structure. We'll start by putting carbon in the middle, and then hydrogens always go on the outside, and then oxygen will go up here. We have 12 valence electrons. We'll put two between atoms to form chemical bonds, and then on the outside to fill the octet of the oxygen. So we have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, and 12. At this point, everything has a full outer shell except carbon, which only has six valence electrons. We can take these two valence electrons from oxygen and share them to form a double bond. Now, the oxygen has eight valence electrons, still has eight, but the carbon has eight. Then the hydrogens, they only need two for a full outer shell, so they're okay. So in our Lewis structure for H2CO, we've completed the octets for each of the atoms, and we've used only 12 valence electrons. One thing to note, whenever you see the term aldehyde, you have a very specific functional group. Aldehydes have a hydrogen attached to a carbon with a double bonded oxygen on the carbon, and this R means the rest of the molecule. Formaldehyde is the simplest aldehyde. We have our double bonded oxygen and our hydrogen, and then we just have another hydrogen out here for the rest of the molecule. So that's the Lewis structure for H2CO. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.